Hey guys, what's up? It's Cole and Kevin here from South Ridge Outdoors. Today we're going to do a short little video on painting some climbing sticks. Um, got the sticks hanging here um, in the garage. We're going to try to mimic like a sick, uh, like subalpine type pattern. We'll see how it goes. But here we got all of our paint. We got a plate. We're gonna do the base coat in tan. Um, we just got this Rust-Oleum camouflage. It's like a flat paint from Walmart. I think it's like six or seven bucks a can. Um, but we're gonna do the base coat in tan. And then what we're gonna do, which you'll see later, is we're gonna take this, spray it in little circles on the plate, and then we're just going to dab the loofah and kind of just dab it onto the uh, sticks. And that's what we're going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do, like I said, uh, I'll spray these, uh, give them a base coat of tan. Um, and then we'll let that dry and then we'll start doing our, our dabbing. So this stuff dries pretty quick. I mean... If you wait 10-15 minutes, this stuff's usually pretty dry to the touch, so here we go. I want to make sure I get all that rust, all that stuff that I've welded, so it doesn't get rusty. That's one thing about stuff when you weld it, it gets rusty quick. It might look cool having like different shades of tan on the base too. Mm -hmm. Instead of just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of just being that dark tan. Can we get pause for a second? Stuff covers nice too, actually. Uh -huh. We'll have some spots where the ropes were, then that we'll have to touch up once. Yeah. Well, I'll take them down then when I'm done doing this to okay. actually like do the the swatch part. The dabbing. Okay. We can land on this cardboard box too to do that. All right, so we got the base coat done. Now we're gonna do some camera magic. Now we're just gotta wait for the paint to dry, 
We're gonna do a little bit of camera magic, I'm sure, here. Um, and then it's time for the Picasso time. Some people have said I'm a little bit of a, a hunting Picasso, so we'll see how it turns out, but all right. Okay, so we got our stick here, the tan's dried. So now we're gonna start our pattern. And this is what we're actually going for here. So we'll see how close we can get to it. If not, I'm sure it'll still look okay. So what we wanna do is we're gonna start with the black. There's not a whole, whole lot of black in this pattern. And there's really not, if you think about it, a whole lot of black out in the woods either. And shadows really. So, we're just going to do a couple little dabs of black here and there. So all you want to do is spray it on the plate. So you get a little puddle. Take this. Dab it in the paint. Do a couple little spots here and there. Like this. Over the whole thing. back sides we will need to spray some more paint to the plate every once in a while I was doing this and it made me think about if any of you guys ever saw the people dip their deer skulls like you put deer skulls in a bucket with water and then you like spray spray paint on the top and then when you pull it out it collects the spray paint as you pull it out of the water it looks pretty cool actually. you should check that out if you get bored one day you need videos to look up on YouTube Pretty good with the black. Maybe a little bit more on the front here. Get some on the top. What do we think? I think that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit in there yet. All right. So I think we got some on all sides. Now we'll move on to. And pretty much when you're doing this part, you don't really have to let it dry in between just because it's you're not really covering the whole thing. So you can pretty much just go right to your next color. So we'll go over the brown. Oh that's juicy. That should cover pretty nice. There's, there's quite a bit of brown in this pattern, so I'm going to do more than I did with the black. And when you're doing it, you want to just be completely random with how you kind of touch the, the loofah on the stick, just because that way it won't be the same pattern over and over again. Another thing to think about when you, you know, if you want to try to maybe make up your own pattern or whatever, just one thing I always think, there's never, there's definitely not any straight lines in the wood. Um, so you want it to kind of just be whatever it is, something that's going to break up the outline. So.
looking pretty good mm -hmm. so far. stuff lasts a lot longer than that black did. I mean the back you're not really going to see because it's going to be on the tree. It's just, I don't know, I want the whole thing to be painted. I mean, that's up to you and if you do this, if you try it, you know, personal preference. I mean, but I just kind of want the whole thing to be covered just because. And So I think that's good with the brown. Now, oh, also, you may want to wear gloves when you do this. I didn't even think about it. It'll wear off. But. Okay, now we're going to go to green. I think I covered up most of my black. <laughs> so, you can still see some of it through here and there. This is another one like the black. This stuff dries up really quick. If I remember from when I painted my steps. So this is another one you want to spray a really a lot of it out. And this is a little harder to see, so it's going to take more more dabbing with the green because it doesn't show as well as the the darker colors because it's more of a like a lighter olive color I guess you would call it but I guess if you're you know if you're not from Pennsylvania or wherever you actually might be hunting think about the colors that are there like I mean I think this is probably a pretty good color scheme for most of the trees in Pennsylvania because a lot of them are either like a grayish color with the bark and especially come fall there's a lot of browns and tans in the woods so I think this should work out pretty good. But there are still occasionally some green left on the trees, especially like if you're hunting around pine trees. They don't really lose much of their green, at least not here in Pennsylvania, they don't. Most of that now. What do we think? What's this set look like? Bottom looks pretty good. Probably use a little bit more down here. All right. So now. I think the last thing I'm going to try is the Sitka pattern does have some more of like a whitish color in it. So I'm going to be really light with this and just do some really tiny little box of white. And I'm actually going to get a different loofah for this. This will be my white loofah. Just use some really small dabs of white here and there.
think I may actually put some more black back in this. I think I covered it all. But um, this is actually looking pretty good. Kind of like with any camouflage though, I mean it's more function over form I guess, but alright, so like I said I think I'm just going to try a little bit of black again just to kind of even that out because that's, I think it covers it all. <laughs> Pretty much, I'm going to kind of do the same thing I did with the white with the black and just kind of put some little splotches here and there. Just so it's not quite so tan. I would really wish I would have wore gloves. But there's worse things than like having paint on your hands, I guess. So I think that's about it. And then once this is dry to like tomorrow probably, I'll take I have some matte clear coat that I'll just spray three coats on. Um and then that'll be that. But that's it. I mean that's really simple and like I said, three or four cans of six dollar spray paint. Um I don't know. I guess you could get stealth strips or whatever, um, but I'm a DIY guy, I guess, at heart. Like, I try to do everything I can myself, and I don't know. I think that looks pretty good. So, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. Um, we're going to try to get some more videos going here again. Things have been really busy with all this corona stuff, and we both have essential jobs so it's not like we've been off um and uh yeah so that's pretty much it so if you guys think about anything else that maybe you think we could have did better or whatever let us know in the comments and we'll talk to you guys later thanks